Hi, today we are going to see about board fast, uh, plank fast and backbone fast. What is it and how it works? That's what we are going to see. First, board fast. First of all, what is a board fast? Uh, these are all the things that is related to the switching concepts, um, mainly on STP process. Okay, first board fast. Board fast is nothing but um, that is to be configured on the switch because as you have seen about a STP mean it has to uh, cross from blocking stage listening learning and then it just move on to the forwarding state for a switch to transmit data if a uh, switch two switches are there they will exchange a BPDUs and they will move on to the forwarding state so this is how it works but while in case of computer or a host or server or PC it will not um, send any BPDUs or any accept BPDUs. So, what is the use in uh, connecting or counting that port as a normal port? It is just a waste of time for um, to be run as a normal port because it has to cross a listening state, learning state, and then to a forwarding state. When suddenly someone has switched off the computers, it will go. Uh, the port will go down, and again, if they switch on, it needs to travel every uh, states and then move on to a forwarding state. So it's just a uh, waste of time since it's a time-based mechanism. It just it is uh, lacking of time in case of STP process. By using a port fast, we can overcome this. That is, we can um, converge or fasten the STP process to that has been configured on the access port. That is to connect it to the host. So what does it do? Uh, it means if you are configuring a port fast, it just moves the state immediately to the forwarding state. It totally skips the listening and learning state. It helps you to avoid a 30 seconds of the process. So this is what a port fast do. Uh, if you look closely, it means if you enable this port on any interface, the interface move to the forwarding state. It just skips the listening and learning state. And key thing you should have to uh, keep in mind before configuring a port fast is that you have you have to configure it only on the access port not on the trunk port suppose uh, if you are configuring mistakenly or something uh, as a port fast if a switch receives the consent port receives a bpdu for the port that is been configured as a port fast it might even end up in a loops of the switches it is something that should not happen in the production network so that's one thing you should have to be aware of before configuring the port as a port fast. And a port fast can be configured globally and as a per interface basis. That is, it can configure to all the interfaces as a port fast or to any particular interface as a port fast. If you configure the port fast globally, means the switch will make every interface that has been configured as an access port to a port fast enabled interface that's it about a port fast to make it very simpler what is port fast port fast means um, it is to be configured in the access port mainly that has been connected to the computer's host or servers first thing and the next thing is it will skip the listening and learning state it will as soon as the concerned host is on it will move immediately to the forwarding state that's it about a port fast these are the two key things you should be aware of port fast Next is uplink fast. Uh, what is the uplink fast? Uplink fast is it helps you to um, converge a faster convergence time in a switch for a direct link failures. Uh, to be more specific, if you need to understand about this, just consider this topology. This um, consider this is as a root bridge. Consider this switch as a root bridge, and uh, data will BPDU will be transmitted between these two switches. BPDU will be transmitted in this way. Uh, since it is a root bridge, all switch has to transmit. This is considered to be as a root port, and this is also considered to be as a root port. Uh, based on this, this will become a designated, and this port will become in a blocker mode. That is the alternate. Uh, this is how uh, topology will be. So, 
what happens if suppose the link to the switch the switch is being disconnected or the port is down or the cable cut or whatever be the issue this switch that is being uh, pointing towards the root pitch the port that is being pointing towards the root pitch is disconnected it has to uh, reconvert uh, it has to recalculate a stp in order to reach a root pitch so what does it do it um, wait for uh, it just cancels this port and it will just transmit recalculates the entire stp process to find the best path to reach a particular root pitch so this is what it do but by using a uplink fast if you have configured a uplink fast in switch 2 means it will immediately moves on to the forwarding state suppose if you are configured uplink fast if it gets disconnected the switch immediately changes to the uh, that means the discarding and uh, designated port or alternate port whatever, whatever be the port that will automatically be moves on to the forwarding that is a forwarding state and a root port so that it can find the best path to reach a particular destination so this is what a uplink pass and we make sure uplink pass should not be configured on root bridge switch if you configure it on the root bridge switch then automatically the priority of a switch will move on somewhere higher on 49152 so it will automatically makes this switch as a non root switch non root bridge switch okay be make sure that you configure it on the non root bridge switches that is uplink fast um it, it has to be configured uh, on a global mode that is a spanning tree uplink fast you should not configure it on the root bridge that's it about uplink fast next is backbone fast What is the backbone fast? Um, now we have seen about a direct link failures. Switch one, switch two, and switch three. If any switch fails, how does it works? That's what we see about. Uh, this is about a uplink fast. The intimation about a direct link failures of a switch. Backbone fast is works similar but in a different way. That is, uh, it helps you to convert time for a indirect link failures. That means if we just look at the same topology. Okay, uh, consider this as a root bridge and this is a root port and here is a root port. No. Consider this port as to be as a root port for this uh, scenario and the data has been transmitting over here. Sub, uh, it has to go to the switch and go to here in order to reach the root bridge. Suppose if there is a disconnection over here, consider there is a disconnection over here. So what will happen? If you just think of it, what will happen over here is uh, it will just this will send the uplink fast. This uh, is the enable means it will send it or else it will go on to the normal process of converging in time. But if you have enabled um, backbone fast, um, keep in mind that it has to be enabled on all the switches backbone fast. Backbone fast if you have enabled on all the switches. What will happen is that the switch will, um, if there is a link failure, it will just transmit a BPDUs, it's a down or something, it will just transmit to the other switches. So, the consent switch, the switch 3, uh, knows about there is a, some link failure issues. So, it will just cancel the maximum age timer on the process that is default by 20 seconds and it will just do the process of listening and learning state uh, and go on with. To be more simpler for you to understand is it works based on root link queries and root link reply that is if you this port gets down so it will just forward a reply to all other switches um, if a root link query is being received on a port uh, if a root link query and reply is being received on a port that is not a root port that is any other port other than the root port Consider to be as a, a designated or alternate port, which would be the port that receives a root link query or reply. So, what it uh, do is that it understands there is some issue in the network. So, it immediately 
clears it immediately overcomes or uh, bypasses whatever be the maximum age timer by default it is a maximum age timer of 20 seconds it bypasses it and then it moves on to the uh, listening and learning state it helps you to avoid a 20 seconds of length failure this is what a backbone first it helps you to uh, overcome the time convergence of an indirect link failure so this is about a uh, backbone fast uh, this is mainly based on uh, root link queries and root link replies if a particular reply is with a uh, non root port it knows that uh, there is some issue in the network and it overcomes the maximum age timer and then do the process of uh, uh, listening and learning and do the post that's it it is you to avoid a 20 seconds it takes only 30 seconds for this so this is about a backbone fast uh, these are all the configurations or these are all the things to be done for backbone fast it is to be done on every switches in the network so that only it will helps to overcome it that's it about port fast uplink fast and backbone fast thanks for watching until next time